Now on News 6, new video just into our newsroom showing a man attacking a woman at a Cocoa Park just minutes before police say an officer shot and killed him. Tonight, the Cocoa Police Chief is standing by his officer saying the woman would have been seriously hurt or killed had the officer not taken action. Glad you're with us. I'm Julie Broughton. I'm Ginger Gatz and Lisa Bell is off tonight. This is News 6 at 430 getting results. News 6's Nadine Giannis joins us live now from the Cocoa Police Department where the chief spoke at a news conference less than an hour ago, Nadine. Yeah, Ginger, this news conference wrapped up, like you said, about 45 minutes ago. The chief telling us that this officer fired three times and was forced to after this officer saw the suspect attacking a woman, stabbing her with a butcher sized knife. That chief says, though the FDLE is investigating, he believes his officer took the appropriate action by using lethal force. Men have a female on the ground holding a knife. The call came in at 5.17 p.m. That man wearing a black shirt and black pants was attacking a woman, police say. Seen here in a video from a witness that shows the suspect, 56-year-old Renard Antonio Daniels, wielding the weapon, police say. The COCO officer, Brian Fredette, arriving first to the pavilion in Prospect Park. The suspect on top of the female with the knife, um, and in the process of stabbing her. His body camera video not available for release yet, but this still picture shows the knife police say Daniels was wielding. The officer gave c commands for the suspect to stop, to cease, to stop doing what he was doing and put the knife down. After giving these commands several times, he became again concerned that if he didn't take action, that um, the female was going to lose her life. At that time, he fired one shot at the suspect. And it wasn't less than three minutes after that. Shots fired were called over his radio. Shots fired, shots fired. Coco's police chief saying the suspect then turned his aggression to the officer with the knife. The officer firing two more times when the suspect wouldn't comply. And somebody with a knife that's attacking another person, tasing them doesn't always work. The officer involved shooting, drawing a crowd of dozens. I hope that our community will stand behind um, our officer in the police department. And so tonight we're learning that 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 suspect, Renard Antonio Daniels, was actually supposed to turn himself into jail yesterday morning before the shooting took place. He was actually out of jail on what's called a quarterman's bond for about seven days to get matters straight before turning himself in when all of this took place. We're going to learn more about the suspect, about the officer involved in the shooting. FDLE is investigating, and we're also going to hear from witness statements who saw it all go down in my story tonight at 530. Ginger, back to you. Nadine Giannis reporting live. Nadine, thank you.